I'm Professor Tina Gomez and I'm the chair of the working group on AI for crisis management. We looked at how AI is used and can be used for crisis management and across the different phases of crisis management. And importantly, we looked there at the different AI tools and how they can be applied for preparedness, for crisis response and for recovery at different scales. We looked at the available literature, we analyzed the evidence on AI, and then we put together the key principles and findings on what the evidence says about the development of AI for crisis management, specifically in Europe. There were a lot of new things that also we as the working group uh, learned from that work, not in the least because AI is such a rapidly developing field. But for me, I was really surprised to see also the evidence gaps. AI, of course, relies on data. And because we are talking about European AI for a European crisis, that also means we need to create a European data ecosystem. It was, for instance, surprising to see that there are no dedicated benchmarks or standards that guide the use of AI specifically for crisis and emergencies. And we, of course, see that there are standards that are developed, for instance, for health or for education. But in this field that also affects lives and vulnerable people, um, there's a clear gap still. The report was coordinated by SAPEA, the Network of European Academies, under the umbrella of the Science Advice Mechanism of the European Commission.